Hey everybody, welcome back. I want to talk to you today about the Map Enhancement mod. We're looking at some really beautiful scenery right now in Microsoft Flight Simulator. But what is not widely known is that what is colloquially called the Google Map Enhancement mod is actually the Map Enhancement mod. You can use it to stream other maps, not just the Google Maps. Now, I've never looked at the Google Maps mod what I didn't realize is that you can actually use it to update the Bing Maps to use the latest Bing Maps in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Now what's the difference between doing that with the Map Enhancement mod, streaming Bing data, versus streaming Google Maps data? The difference is this. Bing data, the old data which is in the sim right now, and the updated data which you can stream using the map enhancement mod come from the same servers they're the microsoft azure cdn content delivery network servers so when you're using the map enhancement mod to stream bing data you're not streaming the data from anywhere different you're not doing anything weird or sketchy you're simply using that mod to give you the updated maps, the most recent maps and satellite imagery in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I never even knew this was possible, and the difference is quite remarkable. Let's have a look. Let's get in the plane here and let's take off out of my home airfield, Griffiths Airfield in Rome, New York. And you're going to see pretty much what you are used to seeing as we get going here. Get up to 65 knots and get the plane off the ground here. And you look out the window and you see, you know, the green blob that is when you're flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is just kind of what it looks like when it's not photogrammetry. It's pretty you know, kind of just green generic scenery. Take a look outside here. Very much what we're used to seeing. Not much, right? Not much to see indeed. However, there is another way of seeing things. And now let's get a look at that same scenery coming out with the mod enabled. You can see this actually looks realistic now. This looks like grass. See that? Look at the difference. Now let's have a look at some static images. This is a random airport in northern Italy. Grass strip as you can see. And this is the image you would see in Microsoft Flight Simulator now if you went there. This is the updated image. Look at the difference the old image and here's the new image you can see the rows that are in the fields this is Long Island New York this is the updated image look at the detail in particular on the left hand side the homes see how kind of bland they look right here they don't really have any definition they don't stand out Look at that. Look how crisp and clear that image is. This is my home airport, Griffiths Airfield in Rome, New York. This is the current Bing image. This is the new Bing image. Look how much more defined they are. Look how much crisper they are. 
it's just unbelievable. Look at this right here, this this particular spot on this side. And look how kind of bland and generic it looks here. And then look when we go here. This is another image of the same airport. This is the old image. This is the new image. They put here a bunch of solar panels. And you can see that. And again, look at this spot right here. Just bland green. Just nothing really there. And now it's got definition and you know, some substance to it. It just looks so different. Go now to the coast of Spain. This is the old image. Look at the grass. Towards the, the bottom third of the screen, the fields. Now watch this. Look at that. Not only the, is the imagery a lot more detailed and in-depth, but this looks like a game. This looks like, you know, computer-generated imagery. This doesn't. This could be a photograph. Even the trees look different. Look how much more definition there is in everything. And look how much more realistic the colors are in this image as opposed to this. These are, they look like just generic images. They, they look like computer-generated images. That looks like a photograph. Here we are in Courchevel in France. Once again, the old image. That looks pretty good, you think, right? Mm, doesn't look that good. This looks amazing. This is what these mountains actually look like. If you see this. And look at the difference. Again, computer generated. You can tell this is a game. This could be a photograph. Now this is in uh, Austria and the Austrian Alps. Again, this looks pretty good, right? Not really. Look at this. Look at how much more realistic the colors of the fields are. Look at the tops of the mountain ridges right here. Right along there. Look at this. We're going to go to the next image. See that? See how much more defined they are? See right in here this ridge that goes up? Not there. Now it's there. Same LOD settings. Just an unbelievable difference. I forget where this is. I think this is in Switzerland. This is in Switzerland. This is the current Bing image. This is the new image. Again, look right here. Th this field. Look at this. Looks like a game. That looks like a. That looks like real life. Look at this. Look at right over here. These fields over here. I mean, this one's got a little bit of kind of farming going on. Look at it now. Everything has detail. Everything, the the colors again are much much more realistic. Look at the, again the mountain ridge in the distance. Look at how much crisper that is. This is the same area. It's another remarkable difference. This is the current Bing image. Look at this. Look how much more realistic that looks. This looks like farm country. If you've ever been over farm country, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look like this. That is a realistic image. So now let's take a look at how we get this set up. So in order to get this going, you need to come here to GitHub. I'll put the link in the description. Latest version is 7.6.0. Simply click here and download. I've already got it downloaded. You save it. Once you save it, simply double click on the exe run the install and then once you've done that you you will have a desktop icon i drag the desktop icon to my taskbar okay and when you start the mod you want to select bing maps latest from the drop down we'll start it here in a second i just want to show you some options real quick first of all up here go to tray when you close the application if you want to you can select that Go to tray after start. I wouldn't do that because I want to see what it's doing before I launch Microsoft Flight Simulator. We'll go into that in a second. 
I would not auto start the mod. Let's auto start when you start your PC. I wouldn't do that. And I also would not start Microsoft Flight Simulator on ModStar. I would leave all of these unchecked. And then here under Game Store, you simply want to select whether you have the store version or the Steam version. And then come here to Map Options. Now this is important. You want High LOD Enabled. And what that does, it gives you the highest resolution images you can get from the Microsoft Azure servers. Once you've selected that, I would come down here to cache options. This I would leave alone. This is the cache file size limit. They recommend 30 gigabytes, the minimum is five. I've left it at the default that the app starts with, which is 10. I've seen people run it with zero, which means there's no cache, and that seems to work just fine. And then you simply select start. And you can see image high LOD, network loaded four, and you can see that the app is now running. Always start the app before you start Microsoft Flight Simulator and do not run this as administrator. That can mess up the whole process. So now we start Microsoft Flight Simulator. All right, here we are in the sim. You want to come over to Options, General, data. You want to make sure your Bing data world graphics and you want to make sure your Bing data world graphics and photogrammetry are on. Of course, you want online functionality on. And then you want to come down and turn your rolling cache off and delete it because otherwise you're going to be streaming data that's going to be trying to overwrite your cache and you can get conflicts with the imagery. Then all you do load a flight and here we have the new imagery and we'll take a quick look here using the drone camera and as you can see we've got this beautiful detailed satellite imagery of the area nicely updated if you don't like the colors one of the things that's really great about this mod as well is that you can change the colors the contrast the saturation one of the things that I saw somebody recommend was turning the brightness down a little bit. I've done that. They suggested 15%. That's what I've tried, and it seems to work very, very well. And if you come here and click the Home button, you can see these are the number of tiles that have been loaded. This is your cache size, and you can see everything is you know, giving you indications that there are things loading from the map enhancement mod into your sim. Zero errors, everything looking good. And once you close out of the sim, you simply click stop, and that's that. If you don't want to use the app the next time you run the sim, simply don't start it. It's that easy. There is a nice manual, lots of information here, a frequently asked questions section in case you have some issues. So the documentation is pretty extensive. I would strongly recommend you guys giving this a chance. I was absolutely blown away at the difference. Love to hear what you guys think of it once you give it a try. So leave your experiences in the comments section and I look forward to seeing how everybody enjoys this and I hope you guys are having a great day.